Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Tanicomo. I'm going to do one cast today. It is Wednesday, the 17th of July. Yeah. And I boated up here just short of lookout. It's about 7.30 in the evening. They're running three units of water. They were running about three and a half and it's dropped about a foot. So I'm going to throw an eighth ounce black jig because Kelly Hines said he's been tearing them up up here on black jigs the last 10 days. And then this just rose right there. I'm not going to throw it on the bank like I usually do. I'm going to kind of stay out towards the middle and just, just throw that there in the kind of the deep water and try to keep it close to the bottom. I got it on 100%, which is gonna throw me out. Let's say four pound line, I got a four pound line on. There's a lot of stuff to get snagged up on working the bottom up here is hazardous for your jig's health. That's okay. I brought my jig box. I did this last evening, worked an eighth ounce jig in the middle of the lake from uh, Oh, up at the bend above the resort, all the way down to uh, the sloughs. And um, I got, I missed several fish, but ended up catching uh, two decent rainbows and a real nice brown. But then that's a long drift just to catch three fish. Oh, that could have been a bump, that could have been a bottom. Maybe at some point I'll go work the bank, but I'm just going to stay out here in the middle for a little bit. I actually figure Kelly's probably been working those fish on the bank quite a bit. He came in and bought some jigs this morning. He said they really did good this morning early. And he, he fishes a lot, fishes during the day when he's here. I'm really trying to catch that number 200. Mm. Kind of felt like something was there, but I'm pretty much vertical jigging now. Oh yeah, I can see the bottom, it's not that deep. Well, there's no no moss on the jig, so maybe that was a bite. I'm not going to count it because I don't, just don't know for sure. Dwayne had a trip this morning. He said it was a little tougher this morning simply because he had two five-year-olds. <laughs> So they ended up going to night crawlers and catching fish. But Bill Babbler had a trip and he he fished the, the pink worm under float below Fall Creek and uh, I guess they caught some really nice fish, caught a couple of browns on the pink worm, which is unusual. Not super deep here, so I think I'm bumping bottom, which I'm supposed to be done. I 
Got pretty hot today. It's really the first hot, hot day we've had. It's about 95, 96. But there was a breeze most of the day, so it really made it kind of nice. Still hot and muggy. I'm sure the before I'm done here, the, the fog is going to surround me. Probably time to come up here and drift a scud again and see. Really haven't had any reports. People up here fishing with scuds. I'm talking to Kelly, he said, and he's been coming down here for a long time, you know, 20, 30 years. Um, and he said that he's never seen uh, the quality of fish that's up here the size, but just the overall health. The fish are very fat. They're they're eating well. He asked me what he asked me what um, I thought they were eating. And if it was a month ago, I'd say, well, they're probably eating moss because we we had a lot of moss floating down through here, like all the time. It was really kind of a pain. But the moss is cleared up. There's hardly any any moss now. Oh, I lost him. And um, so they got to be eating scuds. It's the only thing I can think of to be that fat. We're not having huge midge hatches. They could be eating sculpin. I'm sure the sculpin population is pretty good shape. Yeah, there's another fish. I was paying attention that time. But I've noticed it too. Even the fish below Fall Creek, some of the fish I've caught on jig and um, just good, healthy fish, just like this one. Um, I mean, he's, he's not super long, but look how thick he is. I mean, I don't know if you can see it or not. I thought he was going to fall off the jig. Yeah, I don't have him very good, but that's how thick he is in his belly. I mean, that just, that's a good, healthy fish. I know you can pump their stomachs. Not real pleasant for them. I certainly don't want to cut one open just to find out what he's eating. But they're still catching most of the fish, the guides at least, catching them on night crawlers. We sold so many night crawlers last week, we, we ran out. We are restocked yesterday, so we're in good shape. We filled our refrigerator and we filled the, I think we filled the refrigerator on the dock too. Should have plenty. I don't know if anybody has any experience with, um, oh, ice machines. We're looking at some ice vending machines. Of course, we lost our 
ice machine that we used to scoop ice in the fire last fall. And um, we're looking at vending machines, but we really don't have, with the work we're doing on a new parking lot, a new pool, and a new store, um, we really don't have the cash to, to buy an ice vending machine right now. Uh, I understand they can, they're they pretty good investment. Um, they can produce a lot of ice and if you got a place where people need ice and you have water and power, they're, they're probably, it's like a car wash, very low maintenance and just collect the money. Um, we're kind of looking for maybe to lease something for now. So if anybody has any experience with vending machines, ice vending machines, might let us know. Well, I've missed two or three fish. The fog's actually getting to feel kind of good. I know it's going to be a cold ride home. Oh, yeah, it was one. He hit it once. Thought I felt something, but he was there. Second time. That sounds like Rick Lysak. He's usually not guiding this late at night. Now, Dave Welch. Fishing off our dock still is tough. I. Ooh, there we go. We need a fresh school of trout to swim in front of it. I hate to say it, you know, we are on a stock trout lake, so that's pretty much what we get, you know. We have groups of trout that make their way up lake and they'll maybe sit in one place for a while and I know we've got fish behind the dock that we feed but those fish don't stay there all the time people are are catching those occasionally out in front of the dock especially when the water's off or when it's real slow But, you know, I like, I like the idea of, of our guests being able to go down and sit on the dock and, and catch a few fish. And at times, they can catch a lot of fish, but just not right now. They're catching a few. But it is fishing.
If you haven't guessed already, I'm not going to fish the bluff bank. I'm just going to stay out here in the middle. I'm getting bit. I'm just not, not good enough tonight. You can just about, the depth of water up here, you could probably get away with fishing a, a 32nd or maybe even a 16th ounce. You could work it a little slower than I'm having to work it. Eighth ounce, I can't let it drop too much because it's just not that deep. So I'm having to work it pretty fast. Not feeling any bites. It's it's they're they're there basically when I jig. That's why I'm missing quite a few. Plus they're not that big. I could keep him. He's only about nine or ten and a half, eleven inches. Getting pretty close to the narrows now. There we go. It's a jumper. Cool. A little, oh, a little better fish too. It's all right, I just got another one. Felt one. Did that then. I don't think he's very big. He just thinks he is. Oh, it is. That's a good fish. Ooh. Wow. Did I get a net? I better have a net. He's already gave up. Maybe not. <sighs> he must have got tired on that first big run. I'd say he's... I'd say he's gonna go 20. I'm gonna net him, he's just barely hooked. Ah, no, he's not gonna go 20. I don't know. Yep, came right out. That's a brute. Another thick, fat fish. Cool. Hopefully everything is working on my camera and my mic. I did test the mic before I started and it worked. Okay, I'm down towards the bottom of the narrows now. Oh! He just didn't feel like that big a fish.
Now I usually do, I've caught some of my bigger fish a little bit further down below this area. The water's still going to be kind of fast, but it deepens out a little bit. A lot of times those bigger fish will sit down there in that little deeper water, feed on stuff that comes out of there, out of the narrows. Got a real pretty 28 inch rainbow drifting a scud doing that two or three years ago. Back just a little bit. This is where it starts deepening out. Here come some geese. They're flying. Oh, they're not coming on up. They're flying just right above the water. And oh. heard them land. I like it when they fly right by the boat. Canada geese. I can start to work it a little slower because water's getting deeper and deeper through here. Really thank the Lord today we had an incident where some kayakers hit a dock um, just above the old river lake dock and uh, father and little girl in a dual kayak went underneath the dock and uh, they lost track of the little girl for a while. They both have light jackets on but even when you go under a dock you can get caught so easy even with a life jacket especially with a life jacket. Kind of need to slow down a little bit. And um, a couple boaters saw her and picked her up. <clears throat> we got a call. We ran up. Uh, Ryan was a, Ryan's first one up, and Dwayne was right behind him, and, and I came. And um, when Ryan got up there, they had still not had found her. So it was it was a little concerning. We they thought maybe she was still under the dock, but she had come out. And uh, and they picked her up, so it all it all ended up okay. But man, I tell you, you know, any kayak or canoe experience on a river, creek, lake, any place where there's any place where there's running water, it's you got to be very careful. I mean, I'd I'd suggest getting some experience on flat, calm water before you try to tackle any kind of current. And you know, we've talked about on an outside bend. Anytime you're on an outside bend, that water is sucking you over against that bank and that's what happened it just they I guess they weren't paying attention and it 
it drew them into the docks. Okay, this is my last cast. I'm just about down to Fall Creek. I'm really surprised I hadn't caught anything down below the Narrows. I guess the black jig doesn't work below the Narrows. Kelly didn't tell me that. Thank you, Kelly, for the tip. I hope you have a great rest of the week. Send us some pictures so we can post them on our Facebook page. See you tomorrow.